Can you use Kendo for self-defense? I guess today we're going to find out. Welcome to a brand new Kendo Tips video. My name is Jose, I'm a young Kendo. Today we're going to be exploring a little bit of the world of Kendo and self-defense. I'm sure that when you think Kendo, self-defense is not the, one of the main things that come to your mind. I mean, me personally get asked a lot the question, do you, you, do you need a stick to defend yourself if you find yourself in trouble? Well, to answer that, I don't do Kendo for self-defense. That being said, we do have some elements that may be able to help us in a situation like that. And I wanna share those with you today. If you have any questions or comments about this video or your experience with self-defense, please leave them in the comments below, or you can join me on Sundays, 3.30 p.m. through Twitch or here at YouTube on a live stream. We can talk Kendo and grow together. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm so close to a thousand and I really wanna make it there. So please help me with that. Just hit the subscribe button if you haven't. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you a video that I found that it's called Kendo and Self-Defense. I'll leave the link down in the comment box below. But we're gonna try to see and discuss some of the things we see in this video and see if we can actually apply Kendo as self-defense. I do have to say that I have practiced other martial arts and other fighting arts, as well as I've been certified for CPI, which is Crisis Prevention Intervention. I had to get certified for working at the hospital and working uh, in treatment centers to de-escalate situations, to prevent situations, bad situations from happening, defend ourselves or restrain a patient or a client. So I think that that has to be the most applicable that I have studied so far in a like day-to-day -day situation. But anyways, I have this video that I want to show you. Let's watch it. Okay, so we have three criminals that enter the stage. They're just hanging up in a corner. Okay, just having fun with swords on their hands. And somebody passes by, I guess this is the victim. Okay, so this is one of the things. He's flashing money on the streets. Shouldn't be doing that. I think they should ask him for trouble. Now people ask him like, hey, you got money there? Guess give me money. Hey, hey, you gonna give me that money or what? Give me that money. You're like, hey, no. I put it away. So, he, that is not a kind of move. That's definitely not a kind of move. Okay. None of those are kind of moves. That dodge over here. It's not a kind of move and then definitely this is not a kind of move as well, right? But I do have to say, because of Kendo, I feel that you can get confident on your footwork that you're gonna be in balance in order to do this type of movement. Now, I think specifically closing the distance, we can be really good at it. And obviously this is just a non-Kendo technique. That is not how you hold a Shinai, right? So, but he took it. Okay, so now he has a little bit of uh, Chuda no Kamaya, so he's making distance from the opponent. Oh, okay. He does a Kaeshi type of Waza, and then he hits the, the doors to his side. So I have to say that this, this hit right here, the hit to the head, I guess will be the man, but he's not where I meant, will probably be the one dropping the person. The one to the side, Mm, I think it would hurt, yeah. but I think he will probably keep going, right? But with the head of the head of that, that will yeah, probably be the one. Now, I have to say, what someone with experience, someone with kendo, even if it maybe not with a shinai, but definitely with a stick, with a pipe or something that you might find out out in the street, you can definitely kill somebody with that. So okay. I'll be <laughs> very hesitant on putting myself into a situation yeah. like this. Okay, so now. Yeah. I do like how they try to mimic a little bit of the swing that somebody will do on the street. So more like a bat swing or like a hammer type of thing. And he does uh, some type of like kaeshi do. Like he does the kaeshi and then he goes around to hit the do. Again, I don't think that will drop the person. I will try to go specifically for a tsuki. Oh, like that. Right there, like I think I think that will probably be the one to end that fight right there. That guy I don't think is gonna get back up anytime soon. Even even 
Okay, now, so this guy now is fighting more like a kendo mixture type of thing. Now he's trying to hold it like a bat. And swing it like that. Oof. Okay. <laughs> I think he let go of the of the sword or the or the stick, whatever they're representing right here. But I think this could be a, a this is a successful technique. You can disarm somebody with it, but I think it will be kind of messy to do in a situation like this, especially because of the way that somebody will grab a pipe or, or a stick. Fun to watch though. And then the head to the head is probably what will do it. I think against someone that's not experienced, he would have probably been able to get a hit on the head or, like, or maybe like a, a, a Atsuki right on the ribs over here, make the distance and stay himself safe without putting himself into that, waiting for that swing. And then the Tsuki would definitely make it so that person would not get back up. And okay, so yeah, that's the end of the video. We saw some techniques there that are definitely not kind of related. I think that the confidence that you will get from Kendo on the way that we move our feet, that we move our body will definitely be, be beneficial in a situation like that. But that being said, I don't think Kendo, it's a martial art that you will want to do specifically to learn self-defense. I know and I've seen that a lot of people start a martial art or maybe kids get put up in a martial art because of the aspects of self-defense, but I personally haven't seen or haven't experienced people staying in that martial art because of self-defense. I think self-defense is something that you need to study on its own because there's so many aspects that are specific to it, but the martial arts studies kind of go a little bit above that or beyond that, I should say. And that's one of the things that we make us stay in that martial art. But since I have to advocate for Kendo, let's talk a little bit of some of the skills that we pick up in kendo that could be useful for a, 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 a situation, a bad situation like this. So for me, I mix self-defense, not only with the violent part of taking action, but also the preventative action. And I think kendo has helped me a lot be aware, not only of myself, the things I'm doing. Like for example, in the video, we saw the guy like flashing money out. I think I'm very self-aware especially with my surroundings. And I think that's a skill that I picked up from Kendo. In Kendo, when we go to test, I was told at least that the tests start as soon as you pass the door of the venue because you're being judged in that moment. So kind of like taking that into everyday life, it, it, it's helpful in order to help you prevent being put up in a bad situation, right? Uh, obviously, we cannot always avoid that and we need to take actions depending on what's happening, but I don't know, I just thought it would be something interesting to point out. The next thing that I want to say that I think I learned from Kendo and it will help me in a bad situation is anticipation. We particularly train ourselves to anticipate instead of reacting, which when you saw the guy in the video, you know, kind of coming closer and trying to close the distance to grab the sword and put him down on the floor, that has to do with anticipation. So please actually let me know in your martial art if you practice any other martial art, some of the things that you do to train that specifically in kendo we do a lot of study from the distance using the sword to come in and anticipate the motions of the opponent so we can make a successful approach and successful technique i think because we pay so much attention to anticipation over reaction i think that will be a skill that will be useful to have in a bad situation like that the other thing that i feel that makes a big impact is the demeanor or the attention to the posture and the image that we portray to our opponents because we always try to show confidence, show strength to our opponents and I think that gets transitioned into day-to-day -day life and studies show that criminals do try to find prey who seem weaker, shy, timid so that way they don't feel threatened if they're going to like you know rob them. I think that this could be debatable, of course, but something that could be useful in order to prevent being in a bad situation, right? This is more like preventative over taking action. There are skills that you will need for self-defense if you are in a bad situation, like learning how to punch without hurting yourself, the motions, the movements, and being relaxed and being focused on what's going on. The punching part and stuff like that, we don't do that in Kendo. We can have some of those aspects of seeing what's happening and make better decisions in that moment because of the type of fighting we do. We do have very spirited and very strong fights with each other in a way that helps us get ready for a bad situation, but it is not self-defense. I think people do kendo or any martial art for that matter 
because they find enjoyment in it. There's something that they're getting. And for me, it has been a path of self growth, of personal growth and enjoyment. That's why I do Kendo. I don't do Kendo to try to go beat someone out there or try to say I'm better because I can beat someone down. And I think everybody that I have met that practice seriously a martial art, they go with that mentality. But how about you? What are you looking for in a martial art? What are the reasons why you want to practice a martial art? Please let me know in the comments below or you can pass by the stream Sunday 3.30 p.m. through Twitch or here on YouTube and let me know what you think. Also, come enjoy some Kendo videos and talk Kendo together. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to the channel and share this video to anybody that you think will find it interesting. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and if you would like to see more Kendo videos your way. In the meantime, please take care. Hope to see you Sunday and stay safe.